welcome back to Blasphemous 2. Last time we almost failed the first boss, and now we made it to our... Well, I'm assuming this is the only town, but we made it to a town. So we're going to explore a little bit. Uh, we already we already talked to this guy, right? Yeah, we did, because we got these. Okay. Uh, do we have... I'm assuming we just have the one. Oh, you can, like... Oh, okay, cool. Um, collection of figures. Wow. That's a lot. Okay, well, let's let's explore, I guess. Okay, what do we got here? That uh oh man, they rolled out the red carpet for us. Woo! Oh, that's imposing. This heavy curtain that separates sin and confession. Crime and judgment conceals naught but shadow. Here, in my darkness, there remaineth but tears for me and forgiveness for those of you who seek it. Where are the bereaved now? Where are the repentant? How long since the long agony of this sacrament began? Why well, I don't know if we're repentant, but we are the penitent one. <laughs> For whatever that's worth. The of silence and the pain that plagues your flesh has led you to my dark confession. Let me purge the guilt you bear and thus alleviate your burden. Oh, okay. So this is this is kind of like in in the first blasphemous. For um, whenever you died, you'd get the you know the the guilt would kind of restrict your your magic bar. So I'm assuming this guy we can come to penitent one. Return when the guilt scorches your brow. Yeah. So we're gonna be able to come to this guy. I will free you from your burden. For that is my purpose. Oh, well, that's cool. Thanks, man. Penitent one, I will... Cool. Oh, that's a big hole. Oh, boy. Okay, well, that sounds friendly. Map. Press that button to open the map. Remember, remember to place markers whenever you find something interesting. Yeah, we already did that. Ah, yeah. So there's the uh, the guilt guy, the sculptor, save point. There's a marker. Okay, so I guess I guess we're not going for. Mm, I guess this would be the first thing but it doesn't look like we're going that way we're we're going into the hole oh hey man oh boy i was not realized i, I was not um expecting there to be enemies in the wall can we just jump down i want that I'm assuming we're going to have to come back for that later. That looks... That looks suspicious. Get out of here, man. Okay, so let's see how bad we can fail this. Oh, cool. These guys give you five... Um, Um, what's it? Five monies. I cannot remember for the life of me what they're what they're called. Let 
MacGuffins. Things. Bunnies. Hey, now. Get out of here. Whoa! Ah, you missed. Can we hold up to look up? There's something up there and I want it. Boop! Boop! Get out of here, man. Ah, you missed. Okay, so not bad so far. Whoa! Okay, so I guess we're going to have to come back here later, because we can't get up there. Nice to see the enemies don't respawn. I'm, I, I'm assuming it's going to be like if you go a few rooms away, the enemies will respawn, but it seems like right now they're just not coming back, so that's, that's kind of nice. Oh! Oh, no, 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 no! <laughs> okay, okay. We're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, what do we got over here? Ooh! I'll take it! Huh. Okay, we got another one of those little cherub dudes over there. Those interesting mirrors. I'm assuming we're, we're gonna have to hit the bell with something else later. Oh, the enemies are back. <clears throat> uh, whoa. Okay, let's go this way first, I guess. I suppose. Oh, hey there. Ah, sucker. Can't get me. Okay, not bad. Simple enough. Oh, hi. Who are you? Who are you? I asked you Whose first. Face and name you keep hidden. No, uh, it doesn't work like that, lady. I asked you first. No. Your name is of no consequence. We don't even know Your our own name. Have led you to me. Yerma is my own. Oh, okay, but cool. This is not <clears throat> the right moment. For the steps that my promise inspires are swift. And the will that directs them unshakable. Really? This hatred, which blinds my reason with shadows. I must leave at once. Leaving already, huh? Oh! What is that? Weapon memories. You now have access to the weapon memory selection in your inventory. Use marks of martyrdom to acquire advanced combat techniques. Track down the bearer penitence to unlock techniques that are even more powerful. Huh. And here I was thinking that it was only Final Fantasy 16 that had bearers. <laughs> ah, okay. So you use the marks of martyrdom to unlock um you unlock these slots and we use them for these. So I'm assuming these are like they cost one each. Press up and X to perform a Crimson Ascension. Oh, that's cool. Hold right button with X with the gauge full to activate a Blood Pact. Oh, cool. Empowers all hits from Ruego Al Alba with additional hits of mystical damage. Charge the gauge by dealing damage. Okay. Pressing the right button at the last moment unleashes a devastating slash that strikes multiple times. Oh, cool. So it's like, um, 
you just you unlock it and you just dodge at the absolute last second and you get an automatic counter. That's kind of neat. No, you suck. Okay, what do we got here? Ivy of Ascension. New ability, huh? Oh, okay, so they're climbable. I knew they were suspicious, but I didn't know why. <laughs> Ivy of Ascension. Some surfaces can be used to climb. Hold down the right trigger to cling onto these surfaces and not slip. Cool. Can I have one right here by chance, please? No? Okay. Oh, you can't climb. You... You can hold you can hold down to slide down, but that's about it. Scratched lead sphere. Rosary beads. Oh cool, the rosary beads are back. Equip rosary beads in your inventory with that button. The the hamburger button. And yes, yes, once you see that that button on your Xbox controller looks like a hamburger, you can't unsee it. <laughs> and it makes me hungry every time I think about it. To upgrade your characteristics of the Penitent One, find additional knots to increase the number of beads you can equip. Okay. So there's our Rosary Bead. So what does this do? Slightly increases resistance to all physical damage. I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh, man. The movement in this game feels so comfy. Oh, we're back here. Ah, okay. Okay. Whoa, buddy. Okay, so let's um come back here. We didn't really take any damage though, so two for one. Excuse me, game. Um Oh, whoa, hi. Who are you? Sleep, my child. Sleep. That's it? That's really creepy. That looks like a dude. What's with all the hands? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's eight hands in there, but there's only two people. No answer. Uh, so let's put a marker here. There, we'll do that. Um, that one... I didn't realize we had a legend until just now. I'm assume I'm going to put those where the little cherub guys are. Um, yeah, we'll keep those as question marks, because I don't know what they are. I don't know what we're doing in this one. It's too edgy. You can't add notes to it. Okay, so there's nothing there, so we're going to have to go this back up here because this is where the walls were okay so let's head back this way marks of martyrdom attacking and executing enemies allows you to earn marks of martyrdom which can be used to upgrade certain characteristics of the penitent one you can earn marks of martyrdom by fighting and exploring the map oh cool i thought those were going to be tied to like specific enemies oh okay so it shows you on the on i'm pointing at the screen right now and you can't see it my god dude the the bottom left there's that gauge there with one out of 40 marks of martyrdom I, I don't... Let's take out the enemy and see if... Um, oh, get wrecked. Uh, okay, so we're going to go this way. You know what? Let's take him out.
Whoa! That's more like it. Okay, so the gauge fills. It just, that's, I thought it was like a counter where like, maybe you had to take out 40 enemies or something like that in order to... in order to get one or something. It, it's definitely filling up, but it's really slow. So I guess that's their motivation to get you to actually fight stuff. Um, vessel. Oh, okay, it's B to use magic. Okay, I, I didn't want to... I didn't want to use something I, I didn't necessarily want to use okay Dang, just shredded him. Oh, hey there. Did not even see that guy up there. Oh, okay, you can slide through the... I, you know, I did it earlier, but it just completely whiffed on that. And your magic regenerates as you take enemies out. That's really nice. Oh, can we... Really, game? Really? Really? <laughs> okay, so where are we? Ooh, there's a thingy up there. Okay, let's see what we got. You have acquired the Sculptor's Resonant Gavel. Oh, okay, cool. Steely Battle Lance. The tip of an object of the tip of an object of worship that was turned into a weapon. It delivered a violent end to countless enemies, and the memories of those deaths linger on. Its strength resides in the arsenal of penitence in which it can be awakened. Okay, and what's this? The Sculptor's Resonant Gavel. Small square hammer. Skilled sculptors use tools similar to this to work wood in its initial form. To work wood? Okay. However, it is impossible not to conclude that any artist using such a small mallet must have sought to undergo some kind of penance or punishment. <laughs> oh, and you get the lore with it too. Okay, so the, uh, we're definitely reading all this because like if you've played, if you well, I guess if you played and if you don't haven't played Blasphemous, regardless. Um, if you're familiar with the first Blasphemous, you know that all the lore, come, most of it comes from lore dumps from the items that you pick up. You go into the lore and it gives you like backstory for stuff in the game. So we're definitely going to read through all these. So the night was dark and full of mist. Yerma saw her chance to climb in through an open window, breaking into that old church that discreetly oversaw a far corner of the village. A perfect night for her per for her purpose. With cat-like agility, she climbed down a sculpture on the inner facade until reaching the cold marble floor. Nobody saw or heard her. She stepped into the temple's blackness, her eyes piercing every shadow in search of her objective. And there it was, on top of an altar at the end of the nave, a silver rod, an old sacred relic that had remained intact despite the centuries. Oh, dang, so it was old. 
It shone with a glow of its own, like some kind of living thing. Well, if it had a glow and it's a living thing, then it's bioluminescent. There's not very many of those. <laughs> Usually you only see bioluminescent things under the sea. Unless you're dealing with, like, fireflies, but, you know. It was said that the rod had been plated with an invisible or an impossible alloy of oil-anointed silver. Yerma didn't hesitate. She slid from the shadows like a snake, took the rod, and felt its cold weight. That argent glow, I'm assuming that's supposed to be argent as in, like, metallic, not ardent because that would be something completely different. Uh, fleetingly reflected in her eye. Okay, yeah. Revealing them to be full of hate and thirsty for vengeance. Nobody will ever know what happened to that holy artifact. Sculptor's resonant gavel. His last work, part five. It was then that the sculptor, witness to the whole ordeal, was blinded by a radiance that grew from the pious visage of the lady. A flare so grossly incandescent that it condemned him to the most absolute darkness, the old man blinded forever. Yet, in the midst of that deep blackness, a vision persisted, engraved with pure light, the most beautiful face he had ever laid eyes upon. Except, it's not with his eyes anymore. <laughs> because the sculptor is blind. Okay, so what do we got over... Oh, cool! I don't... No! <laughs> that was the wrong button. Okay, so what's this? Oh, it's a spell! Takes the penitent one back to the city of the blessed name. Well, that's cool! Okay, so let's see what we got down here. Oh, cool. It just... I guess we were walking through an overhang. Okay, what do we got? Sea of Ink. Forgotten Tribute. A coin that was used for many years as payment for the processions that traversed the roads at night time. These processions gradually died out, so finding a coin like this is a rare occurrence. Forgotten tribute, a thick night mist. The thick night mist snaked and curled around the lattice of trunks and branches that made out that forest. From that very fog that, that sticked to my skin, that's a weird way of putting it, like a clammy shroud, did emerge the shadow. They marched in procession with mournful parsimony, parsimony? I'm not, I, I've never been sure of how to pronounce that word, but we'll go with that. Each one a bearer of their own lament and grim expression. Confused, wafting forward in death, seized by the sinister sight I could not help but witness, frozen in place, as they slowly made their way towards me. Only then did the procession stop, the shadow guiding the group, the tallest and the most tenebrous of them all bowed down in silence, showing me the palm of his bare hand. He was waiting for something. Petrified, I could but mutter a few vain words whilst my whole being shivered. It was at that moment that the piercing light of a sudden dawn broke through the entangled canopy of that forest, tearing apart both fog and specter, making them all vanish before me. The sweet song of birds conjured away the deadly silence that had re reigned before. I will never know what tribute that ghost of mists would have asketh for, nor if I will ever encounter them again. You know, that that deadly silence it sounds like Silence of the Daylight. Castlevania 2, anyone? I have to say, Castlevania 2... As much grief as that game gets for being different than 1 and 3, probably one of my favorite Castlevania soundtracks ever. It's just so good. Okay, so we're done. I guess we'll be cut. Well, there might be something there later. But I guess now we're just, we're going to come up in here. Hmm. 
Okay, so what do we got here? Ooh, an item. Uh oh. Get wrecked! Hey. Okay, well that was fun. Ooh, empty receptacle. Is that another is that another flask? Empty receptacle. Glass vessel able to contain the blood flowing from the crimson flesh touched by the miracle used to increase the number of bile flasks. Empty receptacle. On hearing the young man question, the elder's gaze filled with melancholy. Yes, this church belongeth to a bygone age, one so ancient, so chaotic, that it's as if it wanted to disappear from memory. An age in which time itself decided to stop in a perpetual sunset, and in which every man yearned only for the designs of the divine. They're poets, and they didn't even know it. But so it happened that the faith of those people faded, quietly escaping from their hearts year after year. Even so, this abandoned church still stands, its foundations as firm as ever, as if it waited for something as if it refused to give up the faith that so many had already lost, and the old man stood there gazing at the sturdy stone lost in thought. Neat! So I'm assuming that's it for that area. Yeah, it was just the one room. Okay, so we're going back up into town. Oh, sure enough, we're coming right up the well. Oh, well, that was a neat little dungeon. So let's go check in with the sculptor. I'm assuming he's gonna want that hammer, right? Pray, how can I assist? Yeah, hand over the tool. This mallet is so wonderfully balanced in the hand that it feels quite effortless to move. Or is it because it's so small that it feels effortless to move? <laughs> know that you have my gratitude, penitent one. No problem, dude. No problem. May the hands of the miracle guide thee, penitent one. Okay. Okay, so what do we got? Um, oh, there was a climby thing here. Oh, so I guess we are going after this one first. Because there, there was a climby thing over here. <clears throat> um, I am... Yeah, we don't need to go in there. I am kind of curious, though, what's on the other side of this? Ah! Sneaky, sneaky! Okay, what do we got down here? Oh, hi. Doth thee wish to make the sacrifice? Um, okay, I guess. Oh, buddy. What? Open up the skin and red flesh. Uncover the lie that my shell conceals. For I am only blood and bones. Well, when you look at it that way, then literally everyone is. So allow the chalices to be filled with those who toast kings and priests. Yes? Now I shall grant thee a new flask. Oh! Bring me more vials. Will do, lady, will do. Will do. Bring me chalices and vials, and I shall fill them with mine own blood. Okay. Okay. Well, that's that's an awesome find. Was not expecting that there. So they're just like they're just dumping literally everything into this town here. 
So then I'm assuming the town continues this way? Yeah, sure enough. Oh, Who are you? Blessed are we, for I behold a penitent. Humbly allow us to present ourselves to your reverence. We are Medardo and Escolastico, pilgrim merchants and scribes by trade. Oh, there's two of them there. I didn't realize that there was an old guy on the on the, the big dude's back. <laughs> you never know where precious assets may be. That's that's true. Can be unjust or malevolent in walking the roads in pursuit of a twofold profit. That of the pocket by selling, and that of the spirit by prayer. While Medardo pays penance in his meditative meanderings. I take care of the business side of things, sparing not a drop of ink to write about the beautiful landscapes of the many varied paths we travel. But go ahead and cast your eyes upon our shop window. Oh, the they're the shops that were lost on voyages have great appeal and fascination, as they have become a reminder of the feat itself. Cast your eyes upon our shop window. You already said that. Oh, cool. Lightning damage. Oh, cool. Okay, so we can only get one of them right now. Um... That would be cool, but I kind of want the statue because we can equip it right away. Until our paths cross again. Oh, we have to go to this dude, right? Okay, well, let's finish exploring first. Can we jump on the bell? Because there's a climby on the wall there. Hmm. Oh, the town music's gone. I'm assuming this is... Okay, well, let's... Head back into town, I guess. We're going to go, um, we're going to go back to the other side of town and go up to where I seem to recall there was a climby thing. And at the same time, we'll stop at the sculptor and equip that other, um, that other statue we just got. Cause I mean, it's not really, it's not really the, like the biggest, um, stat increase, but you know, if we can get. The wood is taking. I sense how oh, cool. its veins nourish a body that seeks to be wounded with my chisels and hammers, that yearns for the cuts and indentations that will free it from its coarse origins. But he's going to town. Yeah, yeah, we have to go to this guy, but like. So increasing the chance of critical hits when using prayers, I mean, whatever, but, you know, we'll take it. Oh, I didn't realize they had lore here. The traitor. I hunch in the dark and my fingers fight to hold the dagger. It writhes within my, my moist palm. That's such a gross word. <laughs> <laughs> like a living being wanting to escape my grasp, as if the weapon wanted no part in such a terrible crime, such an atrocious betrayal. The instructions were clear. It's him or me. So I wait, and will do so for as long as it's needed. Joined joined by these regrets and silence as my accomplice. Until he crosses unknowing the threshold of this door. It's him or me. The choir master, pay no heed to his words, as he's but an old and deranged friar. 
that every night stayed out in his balcony convinced that a great chorus awaits him to start a magnificent concert. One day during his habitual walk, he wandered deep into the forest to pray, coming back a changed man, as if his mind had returned to a more joyous, more hopeful era, said the woman to the stranger as her gaze lingered sympathetically over the friar. The old man gestured endlessly to the air, a smile uplifting his withered face. Okay, that's kind of cool. May the hands of the miracle guide thee, penitent one. Indeed. So I think we'll call it uh, we'll call it a video here for now, and next time we'll do some more exploring and see if we can get to our first actual boss. So we we had a fun little fun little adventure through there to get the the Ivy of Ascension, but. We didn't really fight anything other than regular enemies. And we'll have to grind out um, 3,000 money so that we can get that spell from the shop. So we'll see what kind of trouble we can get into next time. So, if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button. And if you want to see more videos like these, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And until next time, thanks for watching.